Well, we're certainly stuck in the 80s at the moment. This is an old Alba cassette recorder. And uh, it's a cassette recorder with a bit of a difference. It's quite a high quality unit. You can see there a level meter, little moving coil thing. And that'll show you, like the N2211 from Philips, battery level. But when you're recording, it flips up and down. Above, there's a tape counter, there's a little 3 inch speaker in this. But uh, this one was made, I think, to run with computer gear. As you can see there, what it says audio cassette recorder and data recorder. And uh, I'm actually too old to remember all this sort of stuff in action because when they were doing this, I wasn't in a job which was at all computerised. The uh, electrics on the old trains I worked on went sort of pop, bang, flash, click, clunk. There was nothing solid state there at all until we got the fluorescent lights and uh, they had transistorised inverters to run them from our DC supply. And you see there the play buttons mark load and the record buttons mark save as well. And even the volume control says load level. Now this will run on the mains or from four HP 11s as they would have been when this was new. They're now called C cells. And even on the side of it you've got uh, data in and data out as well as the usual humble 5 pin DIN plug and a remote for the microphone. I suspect there would have been a connection from the computer for that so that uh, if it needed to stop while it was loading up it could by interrupting the supply to the motor on this because that's all it did. It doesn't sound too bad as they go Press the pause button in. Oh, we're thinking about it. tone control on it appears to be non-functional at the moment. Probably just needs a squirt of that uh, service hole rheostat cleaner. Now with regards to record, I assume that this would be AC bias because I, I would assume again that uh, clarity of signal feeding into uh, or back from the computer was essential. But uh, I don't know. I've plugged an external mic into it. It has got its own built-in one, but I think you get rather a lot of motor noise from that. So we'll see what happens. You have to press play and record. This is the Albert data recorder and cassette recorder testing to see what the recording actually sounds like because uh, I haven't got the instructions and I don't know whether it's AC or DC bias. So uh, no doubt all will be revealed in a moment. And the fantastic thing on the telly today, Gordon Brown has personally written in his six-year-old kid style scrawl to the mother of yet another serviceman brought back dead from Afghanistan. I mean, you know, what are we doing there? You're never going to sort it out. You might as well just dump it. The Americans did Vietnam. Why can't Brown Afghanistan? And uh, Gordon Brown's spelt her name wrong, spelt the family name wrong. Uh, un unbloody believable. I mean, I know he's only a one-eyed idiot, but uh, you would think that you'd get that right wouldn't you really evidently not
I know, don't talk silly, I'm being sensible again. Here we go. This is the Alba data recorder and cassette recorder. Testing to see what the recording actually sounds like, because uh, I haven't got the instructions and I don't know whether it's AC or DC bias. So, uh, no doubt, all will be revealed in a moment. Well, it didn't sound bad, did it? So, I think it might be AC bias. I'd certainly hope so, for the uh, sakes of the people that were using it with their computers. Anyway, no doubt somebody out there will know. With that, I must disappear. Bye for now.